Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. This is going to be a video concerning the push of Jinder Mahal. Before we get down to business, guys. Take some time and subscribe to the channel. Hope y'all are enjoying your week. It's Tuesday. Smackdown is tonight. Wonder what they'll be having gender do tonight. Uh, I don't know what when's he facing uh, Orton. It's not payback. I think it's backlash there. So... Jinder Mahal is the new number one contender to the WWE Championship. Man, I, I don't remember the last time I was felt this confident about a, a younger guy getting a push like this. I mean, we've, we've seen for the last, you know, three or four years now, the same circle of guys getting the same turn round around the title goes. Cena, Orton, Sheamus, you know, uh, Batista. And then once in a while you throw a Daniel Bryan in there. You threw CM Punk in there. You threw Bray Wyatt in there for a cup of coffee. Um, you know, with Rollins, Reigns, and Ambrose constantly in the mix. Ever since uh, 2014, I can probably bet that uh, 80% of the main events was either Rollins, Reigns, or Ambrose. And they have really failed to uh, capitalize on this Seth Rollins babyface turn. Um, but, you know, never say never. It's never late enough, I guess. But I really want Jinder to succeed here. Apparently, WWE has been marketing in India recently. There's, you know, how many millions, probably a billion people in India now. And apparently, they're going on tour there, maybe. They, they have plans for India. And with Jinder Mahal... That gives India a face. Just like Rusev is a face for Russia. When you think of India, we will no longer think of the great Kali. We will think Mahal. Um, I'll say this now before it happens. I really do hope they put the title on him. And I do hope he main events that pay-per-view he's on. I'm always under the uh, the belief that the title should main event unless it's under, you know, a circumstance much bigger than the title, a la Hogan Rock, Rock Cena, or something like that. But right now would be the perfect time to pull the trigger on Mahal as champion. You know, you're after Mania, the media isn't as heavy. Um, give it a little run here and see what happens. And I'm kind of comparing this to JBL in 2004. Did anybody believe that a, a former, you know, um, ass-kicking tag team wrestler would be a believable WWE champion? Because I didn't. And out of nowhere, JBL's on television. He's wearing a suit. He looks like a champion. He's in the limousines. He's got his chief of staff. He's got his, you know, all the other people he surrounded himself with. He made himself look important. And JBL was the longest reigning SmackDown, or the longest reigning champion in SmackDown history. So now, we're in uh, 
13 years later, can they do the same mathematics with Jinder Mahal? I think they can. And I just hope they do so everyone can be proven wrong. That Mahal don't deserve it. And he's only known as a jobber. He's only this. He's only that. Hey, Dean Ambrose's record wasn't that uh, promising either when he won the title. But The Miz, also a former champion. Very underrated as champion was The Miz. And... I think for Mahal, I, I think he really worked his ass off to get in the shape he's in. I don't think he's on steroids. Although he may be, not my problem if he is. But he might have the best physique on the roster right now. And for him to, to be that dedicated to the gym, on his diet, whatever it is. He returned about a couple of months ago in, in phenomenal shape. And when I heard people talking about this, I had to see it. I was impressed right away. Put it that way. Um, you know, we see so many guys get passed up on. And, and I don't think WWE should pass on the hall right now. Um, you know, the gimmick does only go so far with the... Uh, Bashing the United States, the uh, whatever, like the Russian sympathizers, the Iranian guys, the Iron Sheiks, the Rusas. I think that's complete BS because look at guys like Nikita Koloff and uh, other guys like that who were anti-American for so long um, and they made it work. Randy Orton right now is as stale as he can get. Um, I don't know why they put the title on him to begin with at WrestleMania. Um, people got so frustrated with that. We finally got Bray Wyatt as champion. And now it's gone and Bray Wyatt's on Raw. So I think, you know, putting the title on Jinder Mahal could be the right thing. He's on SmackDown. It's not like he's on Raw. They can test the waters a bit here and see how it goes. That's my opinions on it, guys. Comment down below your opinion on Jinder Mahal. Do you think he can pull off being champion? Do you think they'll pull it and have him beat Orton? Let's see what you guys think. We'll talk to you later. Peace!